Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'm going to be discussing the Olympic quarterfinal between Germany's women's national team and Canada's women's national team. All right, so after coming off of a 4-1 win against Zambia, Germany is now set to face Canada. Canada has successfully won all of their group stage matches. There was some concern for Germany after their 4-1 loss to the U.S. in the group stage, and honestly, that concern still remains, given how unpredictable and inconsistent this German side is. Germany has shown they have the talent and potential to be a threatening team. However, consistency is something Germany still needs to build. While Germany performed better against Zambia, with goals from Leia Schuler, Clara Bull, and Elisa Sens, the DP Frauen are likely to face some challenge from Canada. These challenges could be similar to what Germany had faced against the U.S. Control and possession in the midfield is going to be important for Germany, as Canada will be fighting for it as well. Germany needs to make sure they can shut down Canada's attack. They need to defend their wings, mark players, and close down open spaces in their box. Because of that, there needs to be strong support in the defense. Canada's back line is also going to be difficult to break through. With that in mind, there needs to be more consistency in the German attack in regard to connection, support, and finishing. The team needs to take advantage of every opportunity they get, every chance they create, because the goals may not come easy in this match. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. We have anne Catherine Berger in the goal. For defenders, Kathy Henrik, Marina Higgering, Felicia Desrauch, and Julia Gavin. In the midfield and attack, Yanina Minga, Alex Pop, Soke Nuskin, Eula Brand, Clara Buhl, and Leia Schuller. All right, so let's get into the first half. All right, so the first half, we are off. I'm a few minutes late because I was finishing up the U.S. Women's National Team Japan match. Um, yeah, that went over. Um, that went into a extra time. <laughs> All right, so four minutes, Brand cross blocked. Five minutes, Germany corner kick punched away. Brand sends it back in, offside, foul in the box two. Seven minutes, Schuler with some defensive work. Hagering recovers it. Hagering foul, Germany ball. Eight minutes, Canada cross headed away by Hagering. Nine minutes, Canada sends it in, kicked away. Germany all off to one side and leaving the other wide open. They really have to stop doing that. 10 minutes, Minga Krosh, uh, Schuler chips it over the goal. 11 minutes, Gavin fouls, Canada ball. 14 minutes, Nuskin being held, touched to Schuler, defended away. 15 minutes, Hagering clears, Bull foul, Germany ball. 16 minutes, long ball up to Nuskin, goes to the keeper. Pop sends it in, goes to the keeper. Earlier, Bran had the ball and Schuler was in the box calling for it. I don't know why Bran just didn't send it in. 17 minutes, ball in for Bull. Bull attempt block, sent back in, defended away. 19 minutes, Canada cross, takes a touch. AKB out to collect. Canada may have been offside. Hagering may have taken a knock, but she's okay. 20th minute, Hagering sends it up. New skin off to Bull, headed away. Frantic defending from Rauch. 21 minutes, ball sent in for Schuler, kicked away. 22 minutes, Germany corner kick, headed away. Sent back in, goes to the keeper. Canada cross, not quite cleared. Canada attempt goes over. 24 minutes, Rauch up to Nuskin, misses it. 25 minutes, Bull battling. Bull cross goes out. 26 minutes, Germany corner kick, saved. Stop showing people in the stadium for every stop and play. I don't think they did it much in the U.S.-Japan match. 27 minutes, Canada cross, Canada header, AKB saves. 28 minutes, Brand running into the box, tackled away. 30th minute, pop up to Schuler, headed away. Brand in the box with the ball, kicked away. Ball sent in, goes out, deflected. 31 minutes, Germany corner kick, headed away. 32 minutes, Schuler cross, saved. 34 minutes, new skin fouls, Canada free kick. Guess they're going to have a cooling break first. Um, honestly, Germany is actually doing pretty well. Then again, the U.S. didn't exactly perform well against Japan, so maybe they just look better in comparison. 37 minutes, Canada free kick, ball sent in, headed around, sent back in, Canada puts it out. 38 minutes, Canada cross goes wide. 40th minute, Bull plays it over to no one, Gavin couldn't arrive in time. Brand cross or attempt, no one there. 42 minutes, Canada cross, Canada touch, AKB collects. 43 minutes, that was a bad header by Minga. 
heads it right into the Germany box for Canada. Canada attempt, AKB saves. 44 minutes, Bull running into the box with the ball. I wish he was quicker with that. Higgering and a Canada player down, head collision. Higgering is okay, Canada player Fleming getting checked over by the trainers. Three minutes of added time, 47 minutes, game starts up again. Brand to Minga, Minga attempt blocked. 48 minutes, Brand fouls, Canada ball. 49 minutes, Pop fouled, ref plays the advantage. Brand making a run, defended away, I guess. 50th minute, long ball up to Bull, back to the keeper. Then whistle blown, first half ends, Germany, nil nil. All right, so it's not a bad first half from Germany. They are facing some challenge and pressure in the midfield from Canada, but Germany was handling it well. The attack was getting forward and creating some chances. However, Germany may need to be quicker with their crosses, services, and touches into the box. Connection in the box is still lacking, but it could start to improve in the second half. There needs to be more support in the attack and in the box. Perhaps bringing on Lohmann or Endemann could be a good change of pace. Germany, while they were able to break through Canada's back line, may need to approach this half different, differently. In regard to Germany's defending, the team is doing surprisingly well <laughs> when it comes to holding off Canada's, Canada's attack and recovering possession. Going into the second half, they may have to be more cautious, especially when it comes to Canada's transitions and counterattack. Canada is likely to increase their pressure on the German back line, and the team has to be ready to counter that. Hopefully, in the second half, we'll start seeing better connection in the German attack, in addition to some goals. All right, so the second half, we are off. 45 minutes, Canada cross, Canada temp, AKB saves. 46 minutes, long ball to the Germany side, Gavin making sure it goes out. 48 minutes, Brand up for Schuler touched out. 49 minutes, Germany corner kick kicked away. Germany corner kick again, headed away. Gavin cross, defended away. Minga cross, blocked. 51 minutes, Brand making a run over to Schuler. Schuler cross her attempt, Jesus Christ. 54 minutes, uh, Bull cross her attempt, deflected. 55 minutes, Germany corner kick, Schuler heads it, um, header goes over. 57 minutes, long ball to the Germany side, goes out. Ball sent into the Germany box, touch back to AKB. 58 minutes, Gavin cross, blocked. Gavin cross again, no one there. 59 minutes, Canada cross blocked. Canada sends it back in, deflex off a German player. AKB can't keep it in. <laughs> 60th minute, Canada corner kick headed over, sent back in, defended away. Canada cross, Canada header goes over. Endemann and Lohmann seem to be prepping, uh, prepping to come in. 61 minutes, Brand fouled, grab, took the ref long enough. <laughs> 62 minutes, Boston into the Germany box, AKB collects. Schuler forced to play it back because no support. 63 minutes, um, Canada touch goes out. 64 minutes, Bull over to Schuler. Instead of playing it up to Nuskin, defended away. Germany substitutions, Nuskin and Bull out, Lohmann and Endemann in. 65 minutes, Germany corner kick punched away, sent back in, blocked. Canada making a run, eventually recovered by Pop. 66 minutes, Brand cross kicked away, Pop up for Brand goes out. 67 minutes, Canada attempt goes wide. 69 minutes, Canada attempt from outside, saved. 70th minute, Germany can't recover it. Canada making a run. AKB times it just right and makes a really good block. 71 minutes, Canada heavy touch goes out. <laughs> Germany's back line is starting to open up. Canada attempt, AKB saves. Long ball to the Canada box, saved. 73 minutes, Germany can't clear. Canada attempt goes wide. Cooling break, uh, now. <laughs> Um, yeah, there isn't much from Germany, at least in the midfield. The control in the midfield is starting to slip and they can't keep it. They have to get back in control of the midfield and start getting forward again. Defending is fine though, surprisingly. <laughs> 75 minutes, game starts up again. 76 minutes, Canada cross headed away. 77 minutes, Canada low cross touch wide. 78 minutes, Canada cross, Canada attempt goes wide. Brand yellow card takes someone down pretty ruthlessly. 79 minutes, Canada free kick, ball sent in, AKB catches it, AKB down, took a knock to her shoulder. Trainer's out to check on her, she seems to be okay. 81 minutes, long ball back to the Germany side, kicked away, ball in the Germany box, cleared. Germany's midfield right now is non-existent. 82 minutes, Endemann foul, grabbing Canada ball. 84 minutes, ball in for Endemann, can't connect. 86 minutes, and um, Endemann doesn't have support. Endemann cross, no one there. Canada cross, chipped over, goes out. 87 minutes, Germany foul, I guess. Canada free kick. 
Sent in, AKB catches it. 89 minutes, Germany crossed, defended away. Germany's best chance. <laughs> like, that was Germany's best chance right there. Five minutes of added time, 90th minute, Germany corner kick, nothing from it. Brand shielding, making sure it goes out. Potentially an additional 30 minutes of this. Germany needs to figure something out. Like, if Canada is going to score, it's going to be an additional time. Like, I've seen that happen whenever Canada played the U.S. 92 minutes, Boston into the Canada box, defended away. 93 minutes, Hagering attempt from D goes wide. 94 minutes, Canada cross, uh, ping-ponged out. <laughs> Canada cross, Canada attempt goes over. 95 minutes, whistle blown, second half ends. Germany, nil-nil. And now it's off to extra time. All right, so the biggest problem for Germany in this half is their lack of control in the midfield. The second half started off well with the attack getting forward. Lohmann and Endemann would come in as well. Unfortunately, Germany's midfield control midway through the second half was virtually non-existent. They need to get back in control. They need to start getting forward if they want to create chances and make attempts on goal. Again, it goes back to Germany's control in the midfield. At this point, control and defending is going to be crucial for Germany if they want to make it to the penalty shootout. All right, so the first round of extra time, we are off. 92 minutes, Canada cross cleared. 93 minutes, Canada attempt, AKB with a great save. AKB not impressed with her defense. 94 minutes, Canada attempt goes wide. 97 minutes, Canada in the Germany box. Canada attempt defended away by Hendrik. Canada corner kick goes wide. Canada cross punched away by AKB. 98 minutes, Canada attempt goes out. 99 minutes, Canada cross, AKB touch, saved off the line by Rao. Ball in the Germany box, defended away. Looks like two German players are down. I guess they're okay, but it's clear that Germany seems tired. 101 minutes, Rao fouls, yellow card. Canada free kick. There, there is a Germany substitution since in for Endemann, but they're going to let Canada do the free kick. Like, there's some confusion from Sense and Endemann. Canada free kick, nothing from it. 103 minutes, Germany substitution. Endemann out, Sense in. Unless Sense is good at penalty kicks, that substitution doesn't really make much sense. 104 minutes, Brand attempt goes wide. I mean, you could have subbed out Pop, Brand, or Schuler. 105 minutes, Brand cross blocked, Germany corner kick punched away, goes out. 106 minutes, Germany corner kick, Brand couldn't put it in, sent back in, defended away, Schuler down, had collision with Brand, trainers out to check on her, um, she's okay. Then whistle blown, first, uh, first round ends, Germany still nil nil. So there is some life in this German side. Early on in the first round, Canada was able to get forward and create some good chances. Towards the end, Germany started to create some as well. If Germany still has it in them, they could try to score in the second round of extra time. Or if the defense and team can keep it together, they could hold out for penalties. Now, let's get into the second round of extra time. All right, so second round, we are off. 106 minutes, AKB loses focus, gets the ball taken off her, frantic defending from Germany. 107 minutes, Gavin, yellow card, Canada ball. Canada is starting to up their pressure, so the back line needs to be more cautious and better aware. 109 minutes, ball in the Germany box, cleared. 110 minutes, Lohmann foul, Germany free kick, ball sent in, headed away. Uh, 111 minutes, Brand cross goes wide. Germany corner kick, defended away. Lohmann pulled down outside the box, Canada foul. 112 minutes, Germany free kick, Lohmann header goes over. Um, another good chance for Germany. 113 minutes, Germany substitution. Schuler out, Fragen in. 114 minutes, Fragen, uh, Fragen touch in for Lohmann, kicked away. Germany corner kick, headed away, sends, skies it. It's better from Germany, but finishing is still poor. 115 minutes, Canada cross, Canada touch, goes out, AKB, and the whole back line just breathed a sigh of relief there. Like, I thought it went in at first. <laughs> 117 minutes, Canada cross, kicked away. 118 minutes, Canada corner kick, headed up. Canada cross goes over. Hagering down, she's okay though. 119 minutes, Canada cross, defended away. Lohmann fouled, stepped on, she's okay. One minute of added time. 120 minutes, Germany free kick, headed away. 121 minutes, whistle blown, second round of extra time ends. On to the penalty shootout. 
All right, so the second round of extra time was a lot better for Germany. The attack was able to get forward, but unfortunately, Germany couldn't finish their chances. The team was still able to fight off Canada's attack until the very end, and now the team will move on to the penalty shootout. All right, so the penalty shootout, Germany is going first. Gavin converts Germany 1-0. Quinn for Canada converts 1-1 for Canada. Minga converts Germany 2-1. Lawrence doesn't convert. Berger saves 2-1 Canada. Lohmann doesn't convert. Skies it Germany 2-1. Leon doesn't convert. Berger saves 2-1 Canada. Rauch converts Germany 3-1. Becky converts. Berger saves but doesn't hold 3-2 Canada. Berger converts Germany 4-2. Germany wins the penalty shootout. All right, so Anne Catherine Berger did well with those penalty saves, and because of her, Germany moves on to the Olympic semifinals, where they will be meeting the U.S. women's national team again. <laughs> this match against Canada was a tough one. On the bright side, Germany's defense did well when it came to holding off Canada's attack. On the other hand, there are still clear problems in the midfield and attack that Germany needs to sort out ahead of their meeting with the U.S., there were still good moments in both halves and an extra time where Germany was able to get their attack forward and create chances. However, the team is still lacking when it comes to consistency, cohesion, and organization in the midfield and attack. Rotating the midfield and attack could help the team, but that decision lies with the head coach. For now, I'm just going to leave it at that. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.